guys, today we are trying a, another new recipe. Um, tonight we're making apricot glaze drum. Well, we're not going to do drumsticks. We're going to do chicken breast with um, roasted green beans and fingerling potatoes. So here is your recipe. Go ahead and do a, print, uh, a screen grab of it. And we're going to get started. Go ahead and get our sheet pan out. We are going to follow these directions. We're going to preheat our oven to 425. We're going to get our potatoes and that's what we're going to work with first. I've got a little bag here of fingerling potato medley. And we're going to take these potatoes, half them, and we're going to microwave them for a minute just to get them started on the softening process. Let's go ahead and get our potatoes ready. my kitchen scissors when I need them. Okay, so we're just going to have them. Look at that purple potato. It's pretty cool. This is like a mix of purple potatoes, red potatoes, brown potatoes. And these are all fingerling potatoes. These purple potatoes are so pretty. I've never actually had a purple potato before, so we'll see. I guess we kind of steam them first. So our directions say to put the potatoes in a bowl, a microwave safe bowl, and we're going to cover in plastic wrap and microwave it for two minutes. I tried to get the plastic wrap as tight as I could get it because they're going to steam in here for a little bit. All right, now they're going to go in the microwave. All right, while our potatoes are in the microwave, let's get our other vegetables ready. We're going to take half the other half of this red onion that I had the other night. We're going to slice that up. Slice it into thick slices. Thick, thin, medium, and then I can't even see what I'm doing, can you? All right, so that's gonna go on here. And we're gonna take our green beans. I've got just a package of green beans that I um, defrosted. They're still kind of frosty, but that's okay. I'm not going to pour it on here because I don't want all that extra liquid that's in the bag. I guess you could say this is like a sheet pan dinner because it's going to be done all on a sheet pan. All right. Potatoes are almost done. Let's see what the directions say. Combine potatoes, green beans, and onion. Drizzle with olive oil and sprinkle with salt and pepper. And then we're going to make our glaze. I'm going to go ahead and get my chicken breasts prepped while the potatoes are finishing. Since these chicken breasts are pretty big, I'm just going to go ahead and cut them in half. Try to get as even as I can. That way they will cook um, faster. All right. 
potatoes are just about done, then we're gonna make our glaze. Here are our potatoes. Be careful taking that plastic wrap off because there's gonna be steam in there. So let's put our potatoes on here too. And then we are going to drizzle this all with olive oil and salt and pepper. You probably want a big, big sheet pan for this because more room. Get everything drizzled. I mean, everything mixed up. Just first evenly. Okay, everything's covered. Everything's got my seasoning on it. We are gonna lay our chicken breasts, and then we'll make our glaze. Let's take this gross part off right here. And it's okay that it's raw because it's going to cook all together. Should have trimmed this chicken before. All right, let's make our glaze. For the glaze, it's garlic, soy sauce, apricot preserves, an orange, my sad looking orange, salt, pepper, oil. All right, so let's make this. All right. All right, let's go ahead and make our glaze. Um, I'm gonna double the amount of the glaze just because we like extra um, sauce. So um, let's get a little bowl. Okay, got a little bowl here. We, oops, my soy sauce leaked, didn't it? Now we need orange zest, so we're gonna zest this orange. Take the sticker off. You always wanna zest it before you juice it because you won't be able to zest it afterwards. We need Half a teaspoon of zest, but since we're doubling it, we're gonna do two. I mean, we're gonna do one teaspoon. Sorry. Okay. See, we're gonna need preserves. We're gonna do six tablespoons of apricot preserves. Just remember, we're doubling this. So we go one, two, three, four, five. I like it how um. I like how it has the uh, peel. Okay, we need two tablespoons of soy sauce.
we need orange juice. So we're gonna put it in half. It's like super juicy. a bunch of garlic into here now usually you know I just chop it but since we're making a glaze so I'll do that right, here's the last garlic clove we're gonna do okay make sure that's everything just a, just a tiny bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. Then we're gonna whisk this together. Let's give it a taste. It's good. All right. Now we're going to glaze our chicken breasts. Here we go. Let's glaze this. Notice I did not touch the spoon directly onto the chicken because I don't want to contaminate my glaze. I'm going to still use it. Okay, we're going to roast this for 15 minutes and then we're going to take this out, stir around the vegetables, and we are going to glaze the other side. All right, let's get this in. It's been 15 minutes, so let's take it out and stir on the vegetables. It's not as brown as I'd like it to be. I don't like this anemic looking chicken, but better taste good. We'll see. All right, so we're going to stir on the veggies. only have cooked guys so don't lose faith. Okay. I'm gonna flip the chicken. See how it's still raw? It's not cooked all the way yet. That's why we gotta finish cooking it. I'm gonna kind of make sure that the chicken's kind of touching the uh, cookie sheet instead of on, on top of the veggies so it can get a little bit brown if, if it will, I don't know. Okay, so we flipped them. Let's put the rest of this glaze on. And now I'm touching it with my spoon because I'm going to use the rest of this glaze. On here. You know, I kind of think this would be good with orange marmalade as well. All right, 
going back in the oven for 25 more minutes.